In this video, we're going to look at how to create a transportation advertisement flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So um, these are the resources that I'll be using. There are not many, just two resources. But then I'll put a link to download them in the description if you want to follow suit and create something just like this one. And if you are done, you can share your design on IG. Let's get talking. Let's get interacted. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. I'll be using Photoshop CS6 to do this, but this should work with any of the CC versions, including the 2021. All right, so we are creating this for social media. So let's quickly go to file and then new, and then we are going to create a four by four inch document or eight by eight if you want to do it that way. And then you're going to click OK. First things first, let's add a background. So we want to go for a gradient and we go for this gradient right over here so let's open this gradient bar over here and i've already set my gradient these are the colors that i'm using in case you want to use the same thing so this is the first one and this is going to be the second one pretty simple right so after you set your gradient you go ahead and click ok and then you're going to change the style from here to radial we maintain the 90 percent and we come to the reverse here and we are going to reverse that so the scale is also 100 percent and then we go ahead and click ok this is the gradient that we are going to use so the next thing that we want to do is we want to create a rectangle so let's go for the rectangle over here you create a rectangle that is way beneath the 50 percent the middle also somewhere around here it is going to work for me and this is the color that I'm using. If you don't like that color as well, you can just, of course, double click on the layer thumbnail, this one right here, and then you can pick any color, of course, that you want. But this color worked so well for me. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and then I can push this down a little bit. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to bring in the car or the transport that we're going to use. So I got this image from Google, and then I took off the background just to save all of us time so i'm going to bring it inside of photoshop and then you realize from here that i use this particular color for the rectangle because of the car that i got here okay just so that it will blend okay so once i bring it over here i'll just double click you can just go for any other car the client actually requested for this type of car that is why i'm using this particular car so i'll go ahead and press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered that is centered horizontally and then i can go ahead and press ctrl d to deselect and push it up here somewhere around this area now this car seems like it is hanging around we don't want it to hang so let's go ahead and give it a shadow so on top of the rectangle that is underneath of the rectangle we are going to create a new layer or perhaps we are just going straight to pick something like the pen tool at this time around you're going to use the shape so with a shape selected basically you can just zoom in over here and then you can create a shadow for each of the ties but that is going to take sort of a long time so let's go ahead and make it quite very simple at least that is going to look a bit realistified so what we're going to do is we're going to start from here make sure you have your pen tool and the shape selected and then you're going to start from here so you make a point from here and then we make another point from this side so it is going to be underneath of the tie so let's make sure that it is underneath so we make another point over here all right so somewhere around here and then we can bring it to this side so something like that and then we bring it to where we started so it is actually going to create a shape for us we can double click on that and change our color to black so we have this black sort of shape over there and we're going to right click on it rasterize the layer and then we're going to filter blur and then gaussian blur you see this one looks very hard so we're going to add a bit of blur to it so that it looks more like a shadow actually not pretty much like a shape that we've created so after you do this if it feels like it is too small you can press ctrl t and then you can transform the size a little bit 
And then if it feels like it is too much for you as well, you can use the opacity here to just decrease it. Okay, so this looks clean for me. The next thing that we're going to add basically will be the test. And I told you this is going to be very simple. So for the test, I've already written it over here. I'm going to select the first one. I use just one font for this and you can guess the font, Poppins. So let's go into the font and let's pick Poppins. And we're going to paste our our test over here so i'm going to change the color to white click ok and then i'm going to change this one to semi bold italic so i'm going to press ctrl t transform it out a little bit and i think this looks like let me go for bold italic instead all right so bold italic looks good let me set this to about 40 because it is the only font or the only big font that we are going to use so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the leading over here a bit and i'm going to set the tracking to minus 40 and then i'll click ok so i press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered horizontally and then i can bring it over here let's open the leading a little bit more so somewhere like that all right so after we do this i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate i'm going to select all of that and i'm going to add my question mark so guess what i press ctrl t and i'm going to open this one up to be a very big one so something like this and then i can open it up like this and then i'm going to select the two of these one by holding ctrl press ctrl g and i'm going to group that press ctrl a and i'm going to make sure that it is centered you can then go to the blending option by right clicking going to the blending options and then you can add a bit of shadow which didn't really work so well for me but then i guess it works here so you can play around with the size and then the opacity and once you're done you go ahead and click ok so the next set of tests that we are going to add will be basically the rest of the information or what response do we give to the guess what here so inside my test i have guess what cast media is into transportation now so i'm going to select that and that's one too we are going to use poppins i just said i used one font for this one so i'm going to select all of that you can use the background color over here which looks quite cool but then it's not the best for me so i'm going to go for something very dark so something like the dark blue over here or perhaps just dark okay so i'll click ok and then i'm going to change this back from the bold to um let's choose semi bold or better still semi bold works so i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to open it up like this select it all and open my toggle character and open my leading a little bit and then i'll click ok i'll press ctrl a and make sure that it is centerized like that and let's make it this one a little bit all right so basically that is it and the last one or the last test is going to be the other information so the first one is book now so i'm going to copy that and paste it and i can resize it to be a little bit smaller like that and i can bring it over here so underneath of that i want to create a rectangle so let me go for the rectangle to over here and create a very simple rectangle like that let's make it black okay so the rectangle will be black and then the color of the test is going to be the background color here okay so that it can be seen all right so once we are done with that what we're going to do next is we're going to copy the next one so that is going to be the number and i'm going to duplicate this one bring it over here select it and then i'm going to paste it that is also going to take the black color here so that it can be seen and once i'm done with that i'm going to open it up a little bit like this to be very seen or very bold so that it can be seen and then i'm going to select the three of this one press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to make sure that it is centered once i'm done i'm going to actually open this up like this so something like that and then we're good with the test the rest of the things that we're going to add will be basically some sort of elements and for that element it was quite simple the first thing you need to do is you're going to pick your ellipse here to create some sort of like a very small ellipse like this change the color to white that is if you want to do it yourself 
so after you create one like this you can basically press ctrl j duplicate it select the two press ctrl j again duplicate and then basically take your time to reposition it so something like that you just take your time to do it let me just make one more like this and then i can select all of these ones group them and then it is going to be the ellipse i'll make another duplicate and then i can bring it over here. so i can select these two make a duplicate and then drag it over here and then you can see that i'll get sort of the elements that i created or that i used at the very right side so if you want to go very faster you can select about four of them and you drag it like this and then you are good to go you've created your own sort of elements so you can select all of these ones so up to here and it is going to be the elements and then you can take your time to position it somewhere around here you can decrease the opacity if it feels like it is too much so you can leave it like this so i can just hide this one off and make use of the one that i created i'll leave it in the description if you want to use that one so this one was quite small so i'm just going to open it up like this and position it over here i'll make another duplicate and then bring it over here as well so i'll right click rasterize the layer and then i can go to the blending options and i'm going to change this color to black so that it can be seen from where it is located now what i did next was that i just made another duplicate from here and then i'll right click and rasterize the layer and i'm going to cut this part off because i need about three lines so i'm just going to cut this part off and then i'm going to send it to this very part right over here quite very simple yeah so basically that is how i created the elements and that is how i came out with this simple transportation flyer for social media you can just make a little adjustment to the shape here as it feels like it has gone overboard so something like that and basically that is it i hope you gained value out of this tutorial if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so much appreciated and don't forget to share so that others will come here to learn for free thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to push this one to the bottom this very one to the bottom yes that was the correction that i wanted to make thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video innocent here and Bye!